Uh, just a quick video to show you this um, true NTSC Ampel um, PS1. It's got a. Uh, where's that board? It's got a little PCB in it. It's nothing complicated. Um, if you look at the DFO guys who came up with the DFO, it's like pages and pages and pages of just, um, you know, theory stuff and. Um, how to put it into practice and, and do the DFO on here and um, there's a few different methods um, but this one you just whack the NTSC or power crystal there depending on which console you've got and you whack the original crystal there so this is a PAL SCPH5502 um, it's pretty common to put the um, crystal onto the encoder directly a, a PAL crystal um, and just force PAL60 um, and that'll give you color on NTSC titles, but this is like um, true NTSC, so um, well, closer to true NTSC anyway. The consoles don't output a spot on 60 hertz or a spot on 50 hertz um, if it's a PAL or NTSC console, um, but it's a lot closer, so it, it will be pretty much on par with the true um, US or Japanese console with this, and then. Um, yeah, so using this board, you just use a switch. Um, there's a little push button switch there, and that's it. It's you know it's neat too. Um, I did make this board to actually drop on like a QSB, and then you just fill these holes up. Um, but then I realised um, that it only fit one revision of PU18, which is not this one, because um, there's two revisions. One's got four four ICs over here. The other's integrated all into one underneath that plate. Anyway, we'll switch it on, so it's pretty neat. The other ways revolve lifting pins um, or using other components. This is just using a switch in this board. So you can see here it's booting. Um, it's in black and white because I've got the NTSC crystal selected and this is a PAL console. So it's a bit confused. Um, but here's the switch. I'll just switch it back to the PAL crystal. And we got color, um, and we'll just boot an NTSC game. It's a bit of a mess in here, excuse me. Now, even though the Sony um, BIOS here is all was in black and white, and so is this X Station screen, the NTSC game, however, will actually be in color. So that's, that's a true NTSC color, uh, signal, sorry. And we switch this back to PAL, and we'll get back to the original issue that this model along with the launch model has um, of being black and white when you're running an NTSC game. Um, the later models, the 7002, the 7502, the 9002, I haven't had an issue with them um, on any TVs. Um, on NTSC or PAL games, it's just that the frequency is not going to be perfect. Um, you can force PAL 60 on them, but I don't think it's really an issue. I used to always do it, but I've stopped because I can't really find any sets that um, produce black and white image on NTSC games. But obviously, this is the X Station compatible model or one of them. So, yeah, that's it. Just flick the switch. Um, I'll put it through the uh, what do you call it? OSSC and um, we'll see what frequencies is outputting